This is an intro. You are watching an intro to prepare for a video that I'm going to make. Again, this is an intro. Subscribe. I'm in back here with another video, or never gonna uncrust you up. Uh, today I got an engine, another vacuum engine. This is a one cylinder oscillating vacuum engine with a carburetor. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this engine. Um, so the way this is gonna go is I'm going to be dividing it into sections. I'm going to remove the flywheel and I'm going to remove the carburetor and everything. So without further ado, let's get right into the engine. Is we're going to start with the cylinder. So first what you're going to do is you're going to take a four by four plate, put it down upside down. Then you're going to take a one by four brick. You just put it on the edge. doesn't matter what edge. It just has to be a edge. Then you're going to take a 1x2, and then a 1x1. One one. So the way this is going to go is the, uh, the holes are going to be facing upwards, so I have to put it here. So the holes, are going to be, the holes are going to be facing towards the top. I believe they're normally built with the holes facing down, but for some reason my engine works uh, with upside down holes, or upward holes. I don't know. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to take a... One by two brick, put it on the edge just like that. And then one by four. And another one by four. Another one by two. So now what you're, you're gonna do is you're gonna take a one by two with a hole and put a half technic pin, half axle pin uh, through. And you're going to put it on the side just like this. Uh, and it needs to be on the same side as this hole. And then you're going to take and you're just going to put it right on the other side. So there's going to be where it tilts. It's going to go like, nee, 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 nee. So then you're going to take another one by four and put it on either side. Just like that. You should have about three layers now. So now you're going to take another one by four, put it right there. One by two. Another one by two. And then one by four. So now you should have four layers. Now you should have, you should take a one by one brick, put it on the same side, just like that. And then one by four brick, one by two brick, and one by four brick. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take a two by four brick or plate with holes and then you're going to take two one by one plates and you're going to put them on uh, both the outside holes and leave the center hole open and you're just going to put it just like that. But first, before we do that, we're going to make our piston. So the piston is pretty easy. All you got to do is take this uh, cylinder 2x2 two two brick um, and then take a 2x2 two two tile. And then you're going to take a 8 long axle and put it through just like that. And then you can put this through. Make sure it moves freely. And now for the crank, you're going to take one of these pieces. And then you're going to take one of these three long crank arms with a one, with a three long axle through. You're going to take your red piece and put it through. Take another one. Bam. So now, oops. Just put it through just like that. There you go. You have your piston. So now what you're going to do is you're going to put it through just like this. So the thing you need to make sure of I just made a mistake. You gotta have mm, I messed up. You gotta make sure that your crank is facing uh, the holes so it's gonna be like this. And then it's gonna tilt and stuff. And then just to finish the piston off, I'm gonna take one by four or one by four top uh, plate. 
put it on the put it on the edges. So now you have finished piston. I'm gonna put that to the side. Now what we're gonna do, just to get out of the way, we're going to make our stand with just a one by one by ten uh, Technic beam brick, and then it's gonna be on top of two towers of three three tall bricks. Doesn't have to be um, one by sixes or one by fours. It can be all one by fours. It can be all one by sixes. It doesn't matter. You just have to, it just has to be three bricks. It just has to be four bricks tall. So now what we're going to start making is our manifold and carburetor. So the first the first thing that you want to do is have a good base. And the base that I'm using is just very simple. It's two uh, 16 by 16 base plates just stacked on top of each other and just have some bricks. Since this is a big flywheel, you want to have it a little bit elevated so it doesn't rub against the whatever surface your engine is on. So first what you're going to do is you're going to take one of these pieces. It's th three uh, one by six bricks and then two one by one bricks on either side and then a one by four brick with holes. And then you're going to put that on the on the mm, the fifth brick. So it's gonna be five studs off, and it's gonna be on the very end. So now on with the actual manifold. You're going to take a two by four brick. Put it right there, and then another two by four brick. Two by four brick. Two by four brick. And two by four brick. So this should be to where it stretches all the way across the board. There shouldn't be any space left. If you have 16 by 16 plates, um, again, it doesn't matter the size or anything. But it does have to be on the very edge. So now the second layer is going to be a another two by four brick nothing special but then you're going to take two two by eight bricks and put them on the end All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to take two by eight brick right there, and then okay, so then you're going to take another two by eight brick, just put it right there, and then I'm going to take one by two brick, put it on the end just like that, and then two by four brick, and then and take two by three, two by three brick, put it on the end just like that, so then you should have this so far, and then a one by three brick and put it right there, just like that. And then a one by one by one brick. So this is where the carburetor is going to be put on. So make sure you have a one by four space, just like that. Uh, speaking of carburetor, we should probably start attaching the carburetor. So I'm going to teach you how to make a carburetor. So first, what you want to do is you want to start with um. So you're going to take a 2x4 brick, or a 4x6 brick, and you're going to put a 1x4 brick on, and then 1x2 brick, just like that, 
And then now for the actual um, carburetor part, you're going to take a six long axle and then two of these pieces, these crank, short crank pieces, and then a ha uh, full stud bushing. And it should look like that. And you're going to take a one by two brick with two holes. You're going to put it on, put it in this hole. So then you're going to have... So you're going to put it on the end just like that. You're going to take a corner piece, put it on the end just like that, just like that. And you're going to take a 1x4 brick, put it on just like that, and then a 2x4 brick. So then you're going to mount this part on to the manifold. You're going to take two two by fours and put them on the ends just like that just like that and then top that off another four by six plate with a two by six on top put on just like that and then put on another two by six brick on the bottom and then any old wheel any anything will work it doesn't matter so then you're going to put it on so then you got this make sure it lines nice. All right, so now you're going to put your carburetor on your unfinished manifold. Just put it on just like that. Bam. If you want, you can put on another, um, put some bricks under there so this is supported, but that is not needed. It's not necessary. You don't need it. So next, what you're going to do is you're going to take a 2x4 brick with this 1x3 uh, brick or plate. I'm going to put it on right there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a 1x8 uh, plate and you're going to put it across just like this. So now this part is attached to this. should be fairly sturdy. And then you're going to take a 2x4 brick and put it right there on the end. And then a 1x1 brick right there so then you're leaving open the hole and then a, two, a one by two brick with the hole and then another one by one brick right here so there should be two holes left open uh, so this is where the piston this hole is where the piston is going to be pulled forward and this is going to work going to be where the piston is pulled back so then you're going to take a one by four brick you're going to put it on right there so now you have finished manifold all you got to do now is just put on a four by eight plate i just knocked off a leg of the, of the stand there now just for extra stability put on a two by six brick or plate put it right there and then take a two by four plate put it right there for stability and maybe a seal. I don't know. Um, so make sure the hole lines, make sure it actually goes through to the manifold. Make sure there's a good seal. Try blowing through it. If there's any leaks, try sealing it more. <sighs> um, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take your cylinder and you're going to put a four long axle through just like this on the side with the holes and you're going to take and you're going to put a half stud bushing through like that and you're going to take a one by six or a uh, six long axle it doesn't have to be six long it just has to be anything longer than a six long axle it can't be shorter you got to make sure that the flywheel can stay on good and then what you're going to do is you're going to take another half stud bushing. Just put it through just like that. So now, what you're going to do, we're actually going to put it on. So uh, you're going to put it through and make sure that this axle here is through the middle hole. If you're paying attention. I'm not sure. It should turn fairly um, easy, smooth. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take a gear... A small gear like this, or a, a, a bushing, I don't know. 
anything would work. And then you're just going to cut it through just like that. So then it should be in there pretty good. And then you're going to take your this frame from earlier. You're going to put it through just like this. Just like that. Make sure it still turns freely. And bam. So all you got to do now is put a full stud bushing through here for more stability. Not all the way through, just leave a small little crack so it turns with ease because I tried putting it through nice and tight and it does not want to turn even the slightest little bit. So make sure there's just a little bit of space. And now what you're going to do is take any old wheel. I just, I don't have any big wheels, so uh, I just made, made a wheel. And I'm going to put it on just like this. Now, you should have a finished oscillating engine. Just like that. So now, the only thing left to do is to test it to see if it works. Time to test the engine. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to put that right there. And then, vacuum time. This is a shop vac, so I don't know, it's kind of loud. Um, so I'm going to try revving it a little bit. Not that there is any revving to do. Um, it does, the carburetor works. Um, just go, doesn't go like me. You just saw the engine run. Um, I tried to make it as visible as possible for you guys to see that it does in fact work and that the carburetor does do what it does. Um, I tried to make that visible as possible that you can rev it. So if it doesn't work, leave a comment down and uh, leave a comment and I'll try to help you. Just leave some feedback or anything. Uh, Try testing different flywheels and see what happens. Um, I tried testing a flywheel like this, or with this rim. Um, it does kind of work, but I wouldn't suggest it because it doesn't really idle really well. So that is my tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.